Eight women just confessed revolting items Matt Lauer hid under his desk which he used on his victims. NBC News host Matt Lauer on Thursday apologized after he was fired from NBC News in the wake of sexual misconduct allegations against him. He said in a statement that there are no words to express his sorrow and regret the pain he has caused others by his words and actions. He went on to send a message to all the people he hurt where he expressed being sorry towards everyone effective and to NBC News for letting them down. He ended the statement by adding that although there are lies in the mix there is enough truth to the accusations to make him feel embarrassed and ashamed. Really, pervert? Via Variety magazine which is the publication who actually broke the news. As the co-host of NBC's Today, Matt Lauer once gave a colleague a sex toy as a present. It included an explicit note about how he wanted to use it on her, which left her mortified. On another day, he summoned the different female employee to his office, and then dropped his pants, showing her his penis. After the employee declined to do anything, visibly shaken, he reprimanded her for not engaging in a sexual act. He would sometimes quiz female producers about who they'd slept with, offering to trade names. And he loved to engage in a crass quiz game with men and women in the office, F, Mary, or Gil, in which he would identify the female co-hosts that he'd most like to sleep with. These accounts of Lauer's behavior at NBC are the result of a two-month investigation by Variety, with dozens of interviews with current and former staffers. Variety has talked to three women who identified themselves as victims of sexual harassment by Lauer, and their stories have been corroborated by friends or colleagues that they told at the time. They have asked for now to remain unnamed, fearing professional repercussions. On Wednesday, NBC announced that Lauer was fired from today. It was a stunning move for a co-host who was widely considered the crown jewel of the network's news division, with a $25 million annual salary. The cause of his dismissal, according to sources, was a detailed complaint from another current NBC employee about inappropriate sexual conduct from Lauer that started on a trip at the Sochi Olympics in 2014 and continued for several months. The employee met with Human Resources at NBC on Monday night. In a statement, NBC News chairman Andy Lack called this the first complaint about his behavior in over 20 years and acknowledged that it may not be the last. We were also presented with reason to believe that this may not have been an isolated incident, Lack said. Several women told Variety they complained to executives at the network about Lauer's behavior, which fell on deaf ears given the lucrative advertising surrounding Today. NBC declined to comment. For most of Lauer's tenure at Today, the morning news show was number one in the ratings, and executives were eager to keep him happy. It's not clear if NBC is paying Lauer through the end of his contract, which expires in 2018. Lauer couldn't be reached for comment. Insiders say that NBC was forced to act quickly after this week's complaint, given the severity of the accusations and the national dialogue around sexual harassment that has ended the careers of Harvey Weinstein, Charlie Rose, Kevin Spacey, Louis C.K. and other prominent men. Now. Against a series of questions about the future of today, a troubling portrait has emerged of Lauer. In front of the camera, for more than two decades, Lauer had positioned himself as America's squeaky clean dad. But behind the scenes, Lauer was a different person. Despite being married, Lauer was fixated on women, especially their bodies and looks, according to more than 10 accounts from current and former employees. He was known for making lewd comments verbally or over text messages. He once made a suggestive reference to a colleague's performance in bed and compared it to how she was able to complete her job, according to witnesses to the exchange. For Lauer, work and sex were intertwined. There were a lot of consensual relationships, but that's still a problem because of the power he held, says a former producer who knew firsthand of these encounters. He couldn't sleep around town with celebrities or on the road with random people, because he's Matt Lauer and he's married. So he'd have to do it within his stable, where he exerted power, and he knew people wouldn't ever complain. Lauer, who was paranoid about being followed by tabloid reporters, grew more emboldened at 30 Rockefeller Center as his profile rose following Katie Cork's departure from Today in 2006.
his office was in a secluded space, and he had a button under his desk that allowed him to lock his door from the inside without getting up. This afforded him the assurance of privacy. It allowed him to welcome female employees and initiate inappropriate contact while knowing nobody could walk in on him, according to two women who were sexually harassed by Lauer. According to sources, the sexual harassment extended to when Lauer traveled on assignment for NBC. Several employees recall how he paid intense attention to a young woman on his staff that he found attractive, focusing intently on her career ambitions. And he asked the same producer to his hotel room to deliver him a pillow, according to sources with knowledge of the interaction. This was part of a pattern. According to multiple accounts, independently corroborated by Variety, Lauer would invite women employed by NBC late at night to his hotel room while covering the Olympics in various cities over the years. He later told colleagues how his wife had accompanied him to the London Olympics because she didn't trust him to travel alone. The spotlight on Lauer intensified earlier this month, when his longtime booker Matt Zimmerman was fired over sexual harassment complaints. The two were very close, and Lauer had promoted Zimmerman to a high executive position and offered him a powerful perch. Lauer's conduct was not a secret among other employees at Today, numerous sources say. At least one of the anchors would gossip about stories she had heard, spreading them among the staff. Management sucks there says a former reporter, who asked not to be identified, speaking about executives who previously worked at the show. They protected the S, out of Matt Lauer. Some producers told Variety they were conflicted about what to do around Lauer. They worried that their careers would be sidelined if they didn't return his advances. There is such shame with Matt Lauer not liking you, the former employee added. I did this special with him and we're traveling and I had a cold sore on my lip and I heard him say to Bryant Gumbel, she has this really ugly cold sore on her lip, like that was something to be ashamed of. He was just really cruel. According to producers, Lauer, who had considerable editorial cloud over which stories would ultimately air on today, would frequently dismiss stories about cheating husbands. However, in the wake of Roger Riles and Harvey Weinstein, Lauer had to keep up with a national conversation about sexual harassment. It often made for awkward moments on TV for staff members who knew about Lauer's private interactions. In September, Lauer asked the former Fox News host Bill O'Reilly if he'd ever sent lewd text messages to colleagues. Think about those, women and what they did, Lauer said. They came forward and filed complaints against the biggest star at the network they worked at. Think about how intimidating that must have been. Doesn't that tell you how strongly they felt about you? But the single most horrifying detail from these multiple stories which allege sexual harassment and sexually deviant behavior by Lauer is his so-called secret button. Reports are confirming that his office was in fact in a secluded area of the building. And to add to this he had a button installed under his desk that allowed him to lock his door from the inside without getting up from his seat. This button gave him the assurance of privacy and it allowed him to welcome female employees and initiate inappropriate contact while knowing nobody could walk in on him. This man is a predator and should be behind bars and NBC News knew about this button. In the most serious accusation, an unnamed former staff member said the news host called her into his office to discuss an upcoming story. Once she walked in he locked the door from his desk before beginning to just have sex with her, willing or not. The victim added that at some point during the encounter she passed out and woke up on the floor, to which Lauer had his assistant take her to a nurse. Now here is my question about all these accusations. Where are the fathers, husbands, and boyfriends of all these victims? I don't know how it works in the world of the rich and famous in the media, but in my world. This guy would have had to deal with an onslaught of harm coming his way from the men in these women's lives. Chances are that in my world Matt Lauer probably wouldn't be around anymore, or at the very least, he wouldn't have any issues with craving sex anymore, anymore.